Today I'm going to share um, a hadith, a beautiful Qudsi hadith. So a hadith Qudsi means it's uh, a hadith of, of the Prophet it's the uh, it's the word, it's the, uh, the, the, the speech of Allah in the words of the Prophet So it's different than regular hadith. That's, uh, it's, uh, it's inspired by Allah, but it's in the Prophet Sallallahu words. So the hadith says, عَنِ النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ I'm gonna say it in Arabic first, and then inshallah we'll, we'll translate it in English. عَنِ النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمْ أَنَّهُ قَالْ قَالَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ يَبْنَ آدَمْ لَا تَخَفْ مِنْ ذِي سُلْطَانٍ مَا دَامَ سُلْطَانِ بَاقِيَا وَسُلْطَانِ لَا يَزُولُ أَبَدًا يَبْنَ آدَمْ لا تخشى من ضيق رزق ما دامت خزائني مملوءة وخزائني لا تنفذ أبدا يا ابن آدم لا تطلب غيري وأنا لك فإن طلبتني وجدتني وإن فتني فتك وفاتك الخير كله يا ابن آدم خلقتك للعبادة فلا تلعب وقسمت لك رزقا فلا تتعب فإن أنت رضيت بما قسمته لك أرحت, أرحت لك قلبك وبدنك وكنت عندي محمودا وإن لم ترض بما قسمته لك فوعزتي وجلالي لأصلطن عليك الدنيا تركض فيها ركض الوحوش في البرية ثم لا يكون لك منها إلا ما قسمته لك وإن كنت عندي مذموما يا ابن آدم خلقت السماوات السبع والأراضين السبع ولم أعي بخلقهن أفيعيني رغيف عيش أسوقه لك فلا, فلا, ت... فلا تلعب يا ابن آدم إنه لم أنسى من, إن... إنه لم أنسى من عصاني فكيف من أطاعني وأنا رب رحيم وعلى كل شيء قدير يا ابن آدم لا تسألني رزق غد كما لم أطلب منك عبادة غد عمل غد يا ابن آدم أنا لك محب فبحقي عليك كل محبة عن أحمد والترمذي وابن ماجة or as the Prophet صلى الله عليه narrated it so uh, let's do a, a quick translation of this hadith inshallah O oh, son of Adam the Prophet صلى الله عليه is telling us in hadith Qudsi this is Allah talking to us inspired through the Prophet صلى الله wording O oh, son of Adam do not be afraid of a ruler as long as my kingdom doesn't diminish O oh, son of Adam, do not be scared of lack of provision as long as my cabinets of giving provision are full and endless. And we know they are full and endless. O oh, son of Adam, do not seek other than me. If you ask me, you will find me. But if you don't, then you will miss me and miss all that is good. O oh, son of Adam, I have created everything for you and created you for me. So walk on the path of my obedience and everything else will serve you and go under your command. I've created you to worship me. So do not play around. And I have given you a share of rizq, so do not get tired. Imam Sha'rawi says, if, if you are satisfied with what I have given you portion of provision, then I will relieve your heart. Oh no, uh, what's it called? Uh, and if I and, and, if, and I have given you a share of rizq, so do not get tired. If you are satisfied with what I have given you, portion of provision, then I will relieve your heart and body, not just heart, heart and body, and you will be a, one of my praised ones. And if you are not content with what I have given you, portion of provision, then by my grace and majesty. I will give dunya control and power over you. You will run it in it like a wild beast. And, in, and will end up with nothing but that which I originally provided you with. And were to, and were to me among those who are not praiseworthy of mentioning. O son of Adam, I created the heavens and the earth. And did not tire, and that did not tire me. The heavens and the earth, and that did not tire me. O son of Adam, 
Um, is me giving you your piece of bread give, going to tire me? O son of Adam, I do not forget those who disobey me. So how about those who obey me and I am, merc and I am a merciful Lord? O son of Adam, do not ask me for tomorrow's provision. As I have not asked you for tomorrow's ibadah, I haven't asked you for tomorrow's worship. O son of Adam, I am a lover. I am a lover to you. So buy my right on you. Be a lover to me too. And that's the end of the hadith. So the question is, what Allah is trying to tell us here is, He's trying to show us the reality of things. And He's trying to show us how we should be content with what Allah has provided with us. That it doesn't matter if there are more powerful people. We should strive for, 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 for justice and, and we should strive for, for get, getting betterment in this world. But if Allah didn't, that wasn't our portion in this world, we shouldn't be afraid. How is our state of, how is our state of gratitude? Do you remember the last time you sat and reflected upon the blessings that Allah has bestowed on us? Or do we need always someone to remind us? Allah is telling us here. He's guaranteed for us our rizq. And that if we're not content, because Allah said, you know, Allah, Allah has guaranteed for us, Allah has asked us to do something and guaranteed for us something. Allah has asked us to worship Him. And that's the thing that we should be focusing our time, our mental and emotional and spiritual effort to work on, which is to worship Him. And Allah has guaranteed for us something. And that something is, is our rizq. When we say our rizq, our provision, how much money we're going to get, what our health, state of health is going to be throughout our life, who our companionship is, who we get married to, what job we get, where do we study, um, what house we live in, what, how, do we trans, how do we get around by bus, by bar, by car. Um, that's our rizq, our, 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 the knowledge that Allah has given us, both dunyawi knowledge and the knowledge of the hereafter. That's all rizq. So Allah has guaranteed for us our rizq. But Allah has asked us to worship Him. And He's asked us in the most beautiful, loving way. Like, do not worry. Just do not worry. It's guaranteed. Allah has guaranteed it for you. Uh, there's an there's a aphorism by Ibn Atala Sakandari where he says, um, he says, and this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, another way of summarizing this hadith and what he's basically saying that us putting effort and seeking that which has been guaranteed for us and having shortcomings in that which has been asked of us, our duty, what, what we need to do, shortcom having shortcomings in that, is a sign of intimasul basira, which you can translate to being blindsided, not being, lacking vision, not, not, not being able to see. But here, basira is not with our eyes, but the sight of our heart. It means our heart with which we see has been corrupted, has been corrupted to the state, to a situation where, where we're putting all our effort in trying, to, in trying to seek that which Allah has guaranteed for us, our rizq. That's what Allah is telling us in this hadith. And he said it with, with Allah, Allah gives us examples, beautiful examples for us to know, to remember. Allah told us, he, if you are not content, Allah will, 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 will put the world, put, have, have the world control over us, dunya have control over us, and will run in it like wild beasts, frantic, 
not knowing what to do, putting in a lot of effort in the wrong place. And we won't get anything out of it except that which Allah has guaranteed us. <clears throat> so a great way, a few things that we could do from this is, uh, from this hadith takeaways, inshallah, is let us sit and think about all those things that Allah has created for us. He said that he created the heavens and the earth and what that entails, all the blessings that Allah has given us, all the blessings that Allah has guaranteed for us. Um, those are all blessings from Allah. And, and they're from Allah. Like, they're not from us. They're not from our work. We put in the work because Allah asks us to do the work. But the source of our rizq is not from our hard work. It's from Allah. We have to be thankful. And uh, there's a... Uh, when, when one of the mashayikh was asked, one of the knowledge, uh, knowers of Allah, he was asked, what is shukr? How do you give thanks to Allah? What is thanks? And he said, ashukru sarful abdi ma awlahu mawlahu min ni'mahu firidahu. What that means is to give shukr is to spend that same blessing that Allah has given you in the sake of Allah, in that which pleases Allah. So let us make sure that we come out of today thankful of Allah's blessings that Allah has gifted us. How are we thankful? By, by using that guaranteed rizq that Allah is bestowing upon us out of pure mercy and blessing from Allah, not because we deserve, and using it in that which pleases Allah, and using it in that which Allah is happy with. Allah has given us a good health, we're able to walk. Allah has given us uh, an intellect, Allah has given us friends, Allah has given us family, Allah has given us uh, money, let's make sure that we spend all of that in that which pleases him. And that is how we're thankful of Allah. And make sure, and, and, and if we use his, Allah's blessing in that which pleases him, that is, uh, we're using that which is guaranteed by Allah, our rizq, into doing that which Allah has commanded us, which is to worship him. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created the jinn or, nor the ins nor humans, humans nor jinn, except to worship me. And uh, the greatest um, uh, mufassir of the Qur'an in our entire ummah by the account of the Prophet ﷺ is his uh, young um, cousin, Abdullah ibn Abbas. He's the most knowledgeable in tafsir of Qur'an in the entire ummah by the account of the Prophet ﷺ. And what he said about this ayah, about that we, um, that Allah has, Allah has created, Allah has not created the men, uh, humans, nor jinn, except to worship him. He said, except to know him. Except to know Allah. So our purpose on this world is to know Allah and know that which pleases him. So that we use the blessings that Allah has gifted us in that which pleases him. But how do we know what pleases him without knowing him? Without knowing what he asked of us? Without knowing what he sent us? Without knowing what he told us? Let us think of what Allah has gifted us. Uh, let us count our blessings. Let us use them in that which pleases Allah. And let us be on the right side of this hadith and not on the left side of this hadith and what it entails. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فيفوز المستغفرين استغفروا